Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Battle Brothers. In the last episode we fought a major field battle for the noble houses. And frankly, we deserved more pay for all that stuff. We've got some level ups to take care of now. We've got Mr. Gerhard over here. I'm going to be leveling him up in ranged and melee defense, which means he's going to be amazing at just tanking everything. Although... His superstition and stuff is not going to be helping us. I really should put some points into his role, shouldn't I? I mean, he only has 42. If he doesn't get an event on the world map where he's scared again, I could give him two melee skill, but I think that resolve is just going to be crucial. We'll get, like, extra resolve as well because he has his fortified mind, which is good. And yeah, a four roll randomly, that's really nice. So that's going to help Gerhard stay in the line a bit longer. Firefan, our veteran brother. I, uh, I believe we're going to give you this full helm. It's pretty beat up, I'm not going to lie. I've actually done some science in between episodes as well. So currently it would take us 37 supplies to fix everything. If we equip this helmet on Firefan instead... It goes up to 43, although we want this one to be fixed as well, so... Literally everything the same, with that helmet being repaired as well, it goes up by 9 extra tools. I've concluded, through careful acts of science, that one unit of tools can fix 15 durability. How I've done that is repairing everything off camera, doing some testing, and I didn't repair this helmet yet, so we had 144 points of damage to fix. And that would take us 10 tools. That would be 14.4 durability for every tool, up to a maximum of 15 per tool. I've also confirmed that by fixing everything, so we'd have no like repairs remaining. Then checking how much it would take to repair this noble sword. This noble sword has 18 points of damage? Yeah, 18 points of damage. That would take two tools for, to repair. So that helped me conclude that 15 is the magical number. And that's going to be useful. That basically tells me that we're going to get two tools from repairing that greatsword. Or at least we're going to spend two tools. And it very well might be worth it to sell it later on, maybe, eventually. So the difference in price is quite heavy. We'll also see that in the shops and whatnot. Anyway, enough economics talk. Firefan, you're gonna get extra melee skill, you're gonna get extra melee defense, and we're gonna give you range defense because a three roll on range defense is pretty good. And well, frankly, we've been ig ignoring your range defense for so long. I mean, that has a good reason. We tend to charge you into combat. But, you know, it could be a bit higher. I will agree on that. No doubt. Anyway, perks. Firefan reaches level 11, which means the student perk over here becomes inactive. We will no longer gain 20% extra experience on Firefan. But he is now a veteran brother, which is pretty great. You can also tell by the difference in the XP bar color. I believe that, you know, we can still gain level ups. We will no longer gain perk points. And the stat increases will go down significantly. But we can still continue to work on Firefan. Which we will. We will keep pouring points into melee skill, melee defense, perhaps a bit more in fatigue as well. We'll see how that goes. Now, you might be on, you might be looking at me like, why do you keep pouring points into melee skill? The answer is quite simple. There is no such thing as overkill. I mean, granted, Firefan gets pretty good bonuses from having people surround the enemy. And he's pretty... Just, he's pretty bloody good. But if you give the enemy a shield, you know, especially if you give them shield experts, because I'm pretty sure most noble footmen do have shield experts, and they all run around with their, uh, they run around with their heater shields, with their kite shields, that's gonna be like 15 extra defense we have to take care of. And, well, you know, they're noble troops, so they've probably got some training, so they've got some base melee defense and whatnot. What I'm trying to say is, the more we pour into our pool of melee skill points, the more chance we have of simply just brute forcing our way through their defense. Which is pretty great. Anyway, perks. 
I saw Killing Frenzy over here, and I just... We're taking that! One kill increases all damage done by 25% for two turns. I believe he also gets a... He may get a damage bonus from, you know, holding one weapon very steadily, I don't know. Could also just be something else, but I'm pretty sure I saw him at some point being able to do like 130 to 160 damage. I was testing out some perk builds as well with uh, testing out the equipment and whatnot, because I was just curious to some of the effects. Like for example, I tested Lone Wolf. I I don't think we'll ever go for Lone Wolf on Firefan. I'll maybe go for it on Super Sarge. Speaking of which, you should switch over your bow. But I don't think it's going to be good because we're going to keep Firefan in the line, right? We'd have to have t three tiles on one side clear, three tiles on the other, three tiles in every direction, basically. Otherwise, he does not get that 15% bonus. I'm not a fan, honestly. Even if it's called Lone Wolf and he is called the Wolf and everything, it would gel so great, but still. I think it would be a lost opportunity because we're gonna, we're gonna be rarely using it. Now, you could go for something like Footwork, which allows you to leave a zone of control. We're not going to be disengaging Firefan until the enemy is dead. So that is not going to be a thing either. I thought about taking 9 lives for a minute. Because Firefan is a veteran brother and helping him stay alive is really good. Then I realized, you know, he's got decent HP, 75. We could, like, give him some extra health points if we, uh, if we keep leveling him up. He, he is still a veteran brother, he can still improve. I thought about going for Crippling Track, but... Let's be honest, with the damage he's going to be doing, he's always going to be injuring fools he doesn't kill. We could go for Executioner. That one was tempting. But in the end, I figured it would be better not to. And there is a reason for that. Trust me, we'll get to that right now. Underdog. Any defense malice due to being surrounded by opponents no longer applies to this character. This is not dependent on fatigue or anything, so I was tempted to take dodge, but you gain 15% of the current initiative. Current initiative goes down as soon as you start building up fatigue, which is bad. So the more fatigued you are, the less benefit you get of dodge, and it applies immediately. So for example, if, you know... Firefan's got 77 fatigue, I start moving him in a swamp, for example. He drops down like 4 defense immediately, he hasn't even taken an action or a shot yet. So I figured dodge is not the way to go on Firefan. I'm gonna go for underdog, just because it it's guaranteed to give us like 10% extra melee defense by ignoring their surrounding bonus. If they have backstabber, we might be bypassing 20% of their melee attack bonus. Which is going to keep old Firefan alive longer. It's a conservative play. I could have gone for something like Berserk. I tried Berserk for a while. I was enamored by it. Because it, it meant that if he killed one person, he could strike again. If he swung once, he could swing again. Which would be really devastating. But I found fatigue to be too much of a bother. And I want to keep Firefan alive. Alright, enough defensive talk. Gerhard, we're going to specialize you in heavy armor. And now we can actually start playing the game again. <laughs> Let's check the armor. What do you have for us, sir? A reinforced male quaff. I'm tempted to, but I would rather get the closed male quaff, which is 10 less, de 10 less durability, but still only mo 4 maximum fatigue penalty. I'm gonna get that for one of my archers. And I'm actually gonna give BVS the uh, the Predator Crown. I was tempted to give it to Super Sarge, but Super Sarge is still specializing in light armor. So we're gonna give Super Sarge the, uh, the Closed Mail Quaff instead. It's gonna be 10 extra armor with no drawback. Because these Mail Quaffs, same fatigue penalty. So they're pretty good. I will probably sell this closed flat top helmet at some point. I'll probably like pass it off to Balon for now. Gives him 20 extra armor. Still fragile. It's very annoying. But oh well. Uh, anything else really needs addressing right now? I think that's about it. 
Yeah, I've got a back line with solid, like... Hmm. We could use an upgrade. It's gonna take away one fatigue, but it is ten extra armor. And we are talking about your life here. Your life's pretty valuable to me. At least ten more armor. So there you go. Yeah, I think we'll keep this as a uh, reserve helmet for now. And we maybe sell one of the quaffs? Sure. We'll sell, like, two of them. Why not? One's a quickie check. Yeah. This greatsword is 70... This is 70, like, crowns difference in price. 70 crowns is... Yeah, that's definitely worth repairing. Now that we know the actual numbers between stuff. So that's cool. Uh, we want to fix that Warhammer. We will probably start using them at some point. I'm thinking we, uh, we specialize Steiner in them at some point. We, we know there's an ambition to get people, like, Hammer Mastery. So, we'll hold that in our thoughts for now. Anyway, like I said, let's actually play the game. Let's buy some food. Let's get into the good stuff. The mid and gritty. The killy. We'll probably head down to Norberg, just see if anything's up there. We know there's a, uh, a thing over there with necromancers and whatnot. We might go for it, although, since it's currently the Noble Feud, I figure we try and stick more to Noble Feud stuff. You know. I really should start being a bit less picky with my uh, armor and prices and whatnot, but I just... I can't get over it yet. Easy. You've got some decently priced tools here. I will pass on them for now, however. Worth 1400, you. Uh, almost 25%. I'm, I'm gonna fix that bill hook as well. We'll probably end up using it because the bill hook is just one of the best weapons, in my opinion, for the back row. I'm using a pike on BVS because it gives an accuracy bonus, whereas the... I'm pretty sure the billhook does not. Yeah, Strike does not have one. Whereas Impale has a plus 10% chance to hit, which would effectively give BVS a 61 melee skill. Bertram, however, is high enough that he can afford to use the billhook. And I really shouldn't have sold your hunting bow, buddy. I am sorry. I really am. Still have a lot of injuries. I'm tempted to buy some people off. Here's the side. There's 20 max fatigue penalty. Or 20% rather. Neil's got infected wounds and he, he still has his missing finger, which you know is never gonna go away. Would be nice if it did, but nah. I Do you have a temple here? I don't think they do. That's Oh no, they do. Will heal in one to three days. I'm gonna have that paid off, which actually gets me an achievement patched up. I never tend to buy like treatment here, but seeing how we're so many people down, I would like my people to heal slightly faster. That does that did cost us a fair bit, but it means we will be combat effective a lot quicker. Speaking of combat, let's over head over to Felsheim. Oh, we're out of tools. Still need 32 of them. This is going according to plan. What do you have for us, Felsheim? Cheap tools. Thumbs up. You are a sight for sore eyes. Oh, wow. That greatsword now sells for 336. Wasn't that a lot higher elsewhere? Eh. These guys do pay a decent price, though. But to keep in mind. You can also buy weapons here pretty cheap. Like, compared to the overpricing that goes on in Norberg. Noble swords are a lot cheaper here. I don't know. Anyway. You have a mission for us. Hubert Stewart walks restlessly. Ah, audacious act of thievery. Sure, let's talk pay. That is not a lot of pay. We need more payment once the work is done. God. Well, this should at least mean an easy fight. Return a lockbox. If it's not an easy fight, you know. I might betray my dude. Oh wow, it actually cures them instantly. 
or the little bit of time in between, I don't know. Either way, we have a good line of battle again. Sweet. Uh, you know what? Yeah, there we go. One archer in the middle, flanked by two murderers, basically. Gunner with an 82. That billhook is gonna kill people. Sweet. Uh, follow the tracks south. That's these ones, I reckon. Hello. There's 14 thieves. Some thugs, a few brigand marksmen, and a few raiders. No, some raiders. I'll probably wait until night. Just because we only have one. And we're gonna be in the mountains. Mountains are annoying for this. And, you know, we still have some armor that needs patching up. Five man is only at 65, but even then, he would have more armor than he otherwise would have. Brigands! Thought. They look scared, presumably understanding that Hubert the Steward's well paid wrath is about to descend upon them. To arms, brothers! Fantastic! Yeah, I think we're gonna charge them. Despite the fact that their marksmen are gonna be shite at night. He says, as a shield takes an impact. It's the great shield, though. We know it's gonna take some hits and live to tell the tale. Yep, they are definitely holding position. They know that, you know, we gotta do something. Yeah, at least Firefan's confidence, you know, that's always a good sign. If Firefan believes that we can win, then we can surely win. We sneak a crossbow bolt in any of these fools. Uh, we can try a 9% on him. It's about as likely to hit as, uh, well, I don't know, something not likely to hit. Metaphor kind of fell apart there, really. Oh, good. There's some thugs over here that need smacking. The long arm of the law is about to come down on these people. Tribal law, for that matter. Most of these people are actually too high to attack directly. Pretty annoying. You know, there's two height level differences there. We're gonna have to go up here, which is gonna be bloody. Nothing else. Should make for an interesting show. They're gonna use their their ranged weapons to great effect, sadly. And the thugs in the north actually did take up remarkably good defensive positions. Thankfully, you know, we're armored to the smithereens. So you could try your hardest. It ain't gonna do too much. They also sell Firefan in his uh, lovely little helmet there. I really like the look of those helmets. Even though, you know, it's not quite as thematic. I think we can let that slide. At least for now. We'll get you a cooler helmet later, Firefan. Although this, this is pretty up there in the amount of badassery that it has. My opinion, at least. 8% chance. We're going to try sniping him. Let's do it. Sure, we'll move James up there. What are you gonna do? Try to smack us? Ow, he smacks us. Okay. Point taken. Oh, he's a spear master as well. Fair enough. He pretends he can do something with that spear then. Right. He's got a good position there, sadly. Surprisingly so. Oh, there's... Ah! These hills are hiding treachery, I tell ya. Uh, yeah, that'll do for now. First one's gonna go and have some fun over here. Bless them, they are trying to take some shots. There's gonna be a massive route here at some point. I don't know when specifically, but... They will rout. I mean, that might have started it, let's be honest. 
They're gonna poop themselves soon. Not very accurate, are they? I mean, that's the whole point of finding them at night. To try and not get hit. Now that we're in base contact, they're gonna start swarming us. Which is a nice change of pace, admittedly. Ooh. Our nice helmet there took a bit of hit. Oh god! Gunnar is getting wrecked all of a sudden. Uh, that that never ceases to be hilarious. This is the downside of having height differences everywhere. You might accidentally click on a thing that's like, oh, we'll take you over there on an adventure. I don't want to go on an adventure. I just want to win my battle and go home. And sell loot. Get rich. That sort of thing. Hello. We're going to kill you now. Also, he made a bad mistake coming off of his hill. We could have just left him, but honestly... You don't just leave an opponent. Gotta kill them. It's way more fun. Hello. Yeah, we're not gonna have any stabs in over here. God, what a shame. Well, they're still trying to land hits, fair enough. Firefan's helmet takes a rough beating over there. Ooh, at least he avoids the powerful blow. That could have been a dangerous moment there. He tried to flee. I mean, I don't blame him. We are pretty scary. But hey, free attack is always nice. Uh, yeah. We're having none of that. Firefan, go and kill. 14% chance to hit him. Well, we actually bloody hit him. Well done. That's good enough in my book. We're gonna have to send you all the way around. There's a tree right there. There's a bunch of boulders right there. It's like they chose this position to be as annoying as they could be. They succeeded. You get to drop, and you get to regret a lot of things as well, my friend. We're gonna hold Magnus's turn, probably. Yeah. There we go, much better. Here's the route that I talked about. They're scared. I don't blame them. We are pretty scary. I'm also kind of mad. Whoop. I mean, this is roughly what I expected, like seeing the price. You can often gauge by the price how difficult something is going to be, which, you know, I really should have learned before doing that last glorious fight. Glorious though it was, for sure. I felt kind of ripped off. Like, oh yeah, you're going to have a difficult fight, enjoy. Firefan puts down another fool that tries to resist. Although he was already running brown pants, if you know what I mean. Like he should. There we go. Fools are dropping. Pretty soon the battle will be over. Sorry, Magnus. You keep missing out on the fun actions. Go for the one that doesn't have a shield. Because he's easier to murder. It's murder 101, basically. Go for the easy targets. Sure, let's unleash a dog. What could possibly go wrong? There's an archer somewhere to catch, after all. You can catch an archer. He can catch my blade, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, Firefan gets to murder two in a row, because Firefan is just showing off at this point. He hit the thug's head for 180 damage. Gee. There we go. The dog's wrath only has one target now. Him. No one has to tell him that he's screwed. He knows. Oh, we're running you down, sister. Oh, he actually got away. Fair enough. Firefan, 720 damage. It was a light battle, relatively speaking. 
We got a kite shield. I like the kite shield this... I like the look this kite shield has. So we'll keep it. Uh, we'll, we'll pretty much sell the rest. Like, don't really need the long axe. I prefer the bill hook. Uh, we're gonna sell the woodcutter's axe because we have a great sword. We're gonna keep that hunting bow for poor old Bertram. Basic hatchets, sword, some basic stuff to sell. Yep. Ah! You offer me 2540! Ooh! The battle is over. You pick up the lockbox and look it over. Was this really worth the lives of so many people? I know what you're thinking, said Sword. The voice breaks in. You draw your sword and aim it at a stranger who has seemingly appeared from nowhere. You're thinking. What if someone paid good money to steal that there artifact? What if that someone would pay me a good deal of money? Perhaps more than the man who paid you to retrieve it in the first place. You lower your weapon and nod. That's an interesting thought. The man smiles. 2540 crowns. That's how much I'll give you for it. That was the thief's share, plus extra. A more than fair deal. Of course, your employer would be most unhappy, but... Well, that's not my choice to make. Nope, I'm playing by the rules. Lawful good, or whatever. I don't know the specific archetypes, but I want to be a good guy. Reputation is always going to be neutral, but you know. I want Felsheim to be happy with me so I can buy cheaper stuff. We're, we're back down to needing like 30 extra tools, good lord. Yeah, we got massively underpaid there. But, you know, we don't lose renown. Felsheim becomes more friendly with us. It's investing in the future. And now we have a two-star... Ooh, a patrol. Kill anything that doesn't have the head in name. How much are we talking about here? 60 crowns per head? 430 when the job is done. We need to be paid more per head. 90 per head! You know what? Deal. Up to 35. That is gonna be, um... 27... That's like 3300, like, crowns. If we get 35 heads. Sure. That sounds like decent pay, alright. And now we can buy stuff from the markets. Slightly cheaper arrows. Sold! Or not. I think these got a little cheaper as well. Uh, anyway. I think we'll just sell you. We'll sell you. We'll sell you because I don't care about you. Get a bunch of head in shields. I don't really like these kite shields as much. So, sell those. Kinda like these heaters though. So, we'll keep them for now. It can be very, very, like, petty. Very petty, yep. We'll sell the military pick. Yeah, we'll sell the military pick. Wooden flail. Uh, short sword. We got a ton of boar spears now. I think everyone that I want equipped with spears has a boar spear, so... I should really give Brad something else than a boar spear. Although I kind of already specialized him in spears. Did that a bit too early, probably. Kind of a shame. I wish you could, like, go to a place, spend a bunch of cash, and just respect them in whatever the hell you please. I mean, it does make perk investment a bit more important, and it, it does explain why they locked the masteries away to, like, level 5, so you'd have an inkling of what you were going to do with them. Uh, I, I would like the ability to be able to respec, no matter what. You know, make it worth, make it cost something. I would be happy to. Head math. Um, you need um, 50 durability. That would be like four tools. Four tools for 120. Uh, yeah, that's worth it. Sell you. We'll keep the other one for now. You would need two tools as well. Yep, that's worth it. Well, it's probably always worth it, although you'll be buying a crap ton more tools, that's for sure. 
So let's quickly recap. We sold the long axe that we we're keeping in reserve. Sold the pike. We'll repair the bow. I think we'll just sell the boar spears, although it might be worth, you know, s fixing them. There's going to be a lot of math involved from here on out. It's going to be annoying. 118 to 36. It's going to take us three tools, probably. Probably going to be worth it. Right then. You get a damage one. Enjoy. It'll be fine. Uh, damage one, there we go. So we'll sell... A bunch of boar spears, then. Sure, why not? It's only money. Actually, I'll keep one in reserve. One fully fixed one. Just because it is going to be helpful if we uh, try and get into a fight with a new person. Like, we might hire someone new, who knows? Anyway, that's going to be enough mathematics for today, I reckon. We still need 37 tools now. I mean, I guess we'll head up the road to Whitetail then. Even though we're supposed to patrol the Norberg. I'm a rebel! On a noble cause, I guess. We're allied to you, but you just got raided. Ooh. You know what, I'll just do it. Like we saw, three tools for like 60 difference. Yeah. We're gonna start making a profit. Adler's Watch up north, interesting. Right, let's go to Norberg then. We'll probably pick up some more tools there. Only down to 27, I think mean, that's better. We carry 150 at most. We might be able to get some fights here with, uh... I don't know what their name is anymore. How's Horn? There we go. We'll honk their horn a little. Piss them off. Hello. Uh, read all the maps! Refugees, messengers, and traders on the road are reporting that Wolfhiden now belongs to House Edelheim. Ooh. The plot thickens. The borders change. Uh, marketplace. We're gonna sell you. I forgot to sell you for some reason. And the prices here are much higher. Oh, God. Well, we'll keep that in mind. 425 for that great sword. 270 for the bill hook. Good prices for good, for good weapons. I'll buy these tools. Because we now know the margin's a bit better. And well, it's worth it by the look of things. Granted, we can't exactly buy equipment here and sell it for a higher price after repairing it, so that would be magic. Oh well. At least we know we'll have plenty of tools for the future. Any like unique weapons? They're really nice. You've got fighting axes. Kinda like the idea of fighting axes, since they'll be able to deal with shields well. But no, it doesn't look like you've got anything new or amazing. Maybe wanna hire a hedge knight at some point, but I think we'll leave that for now. Troll up to Unheim, then we'll quickly dive down there, just to see what is what. That's probably going to be where we're going to get all our heads from. Unheim is still where we left it last time. Good tools, pretty cheap. We're, we're stacking up on tools now. But you know, we are going to use them. Rather quickly. Let's also buy some more roots and berries. Just keep the food a little varied, you know. Bad stuff might happen if we feed our people with nothing but ground grain. That's a pretty cheap bassinet. Bassinet is only 210, however. We've got a lot of helmets and like 200, 210, that sort of thing. We can always get more by fighting in nobles, but you know, it's still a good investment. We still have like 13,000 crowns anyway. Uh, Gerhard, where are you? Yeah, you are Battleforged. You could use a better hat. It's only 10 extra armor, but it's still 10 extra armor. Do not diss 10 extra armor. And we'll probably give the nasal helmet of mail to, uh, to James, since he has a uh, 
a 150 hel durability helmet. So that's a 50 difference for like 3 fatigue, or 2 fatigue, and 1 vision. It's good. It's good. I like it. Thanks, Anheim. You rule. Now, returning to Felsheim would be uh, the end of the mission. But, you know, we're not gonna end it yet. We're getting good stuff. We also have 140 tools. I approve. Is there anyone here? I know going in at night is probably the bad, uh, the worst idea I've had in a while. As you know, the workshop has a garrison, the barracks has, the blast furnace, the stone watchtower. Quickly, yeah. Wolf Hayden now belongs to uh, Edelheim instead of House Horn. They did burn down everything there first, which is an interesting sight. Lomberg still has something, so who knows? We may join a siege at some point and get paid for it. I wouldn't mind getting paid. No. I would also like to help take over territory. Like, search over here. Is there any, like, hostiles we can easily kill? I mean, we're not technically patrolling the area we're supposed to anymore, but that is animal tracks. Oh, Nuxair is... Please! Oh, in the swamp as well! You don't have to be a hero. You're just running a business! Mom always told me. Life's like a business. But yeah, if we kill all these Nuxairs, which we will, because they're Nuxairs, we have Firefan. He's a beast in his own right. They do have some big guns, though. Gonna be slightly frightful of those. But aside from that, we should be just fine. BBS! I'm gonna have you focus on him. Because, you know, we did 67 damage to him. He's only bruised. That's bad! I forgot to give Brad his spear back. Yay! I am a massive fool. Thankfully, he has a weapon in reserve, because I'm not that foolish. But still, that is risky. I should have... If someone spawns that, good job. If you retroactively just comment about it, boo. They seem to be pretty accurate, but that's because, you know, we're fighting in a swamp. You don't get many defensive bonuses in a swamp. But this is why I gave Firefan Underdog. He's surrounded by like three Nux errors now. There can easily be a fourth one over there soon. He's hiding in there. Can't see him yet, which is a bit of a shame, but yeah. There's the big gun. Exactly where I want him to be, actually. Dead smack in the middle with both my bill hookmen. And I'm actually gonna go and I'm gonna flank him. It's because I really want him to die. There we go. Let's murder fools. He's also really close to BVS, which means that we're gonna get an awful lot of snipes in there. We're gonna send Ike forward to secure the bodies. We are... Wow, really? We are very unlucky with our lack of hits. That's more like it. There we go. We should be able to maybe kill him before he takes a turn. BVS is going to act in 10 turns. Yeah, he might get a quick snipe off. Otherwise, um, we might be in a tiny speck of trouble. Having said that, though, uh, if we deal with him, he's probably the biggest problem we have right now. We can deal with the stage 1 guys that have only feasted once. Oh, thank god. Right, that is one worry less. Excellent. Uh, we'll try to hit him, I guess. We'll move Firefine over here. That actually doesn't give him enough AP to do anything. Very sad. We'll move Brad in here, we'll try to injure them a bit more. And just go for the big ones, really. They're the threat here. 
Uh, Ike. You should really not be standing there. Firefan should be. Uh, I should. I should really start considering giving some people rotation. Sadly, there's only so many perks you can have. Otherwise, you'd be completely overpowered, and I completely understand. Ike's gonna have to uh, have to tank a little. You know, I wouldn't have sent him up there if I knew he wasn't up to it. Well done, son. You'll come out pretty much unscathed. Just, just trust me. The rest of the line, however, might be looking a little wary soon. I think now's the time to unleash a dog as well. Just get their morale a bit lower. Ooh, just not enough to kill. What a shame. And I don't think I will be risking a shot here, I actually. I'll be letting another dog lose, though. That'll get some of them to panic. Maybe. Or die. Like, we're starting to break their backs now at this point. Yeah. This is, uh... This is pretty much over now. Dogs are gonna join in and maybe steal some experience away from us, but at the same time, they're gonna help chase them down and rout them. So, we've been through the worst of it by now. We can safely say that. Come on, Neil. Aw. You tried. I appreciate that. Uh, we'd have a 27% chance of hitting him. I'd rather just walk, to be honest. That guy's not running yet, which is, you know, brave on his part. But really foolish. Like, you have no idea how foolish that is. There we go, let's slowly get a stab into him, because all this murky water makes you really fatigued when walking through it for some reason. By which I mean, yeah, that's completely normal. I'm not surprised at all. There we go, dog patrols on him. Oh, <gasps> he nearly killed Bane. That's rude. You should reconsider before you kill our dog. You jerk. I'd move Firefan in if I could. Which is a really big threat that doesn't end up doing anything. Sadly, the swamp is kind of working against us right now. Uh, we can't catch up without, you know, risking a shot at the dog. I'm not gonna accidentally kill a dog today. Not if I don't have to. No matter what arguments you may throw at me. There we go. That went pretty well. I mean, sure, we may have took some hits there, but... Eh. We spent about 200's worth of tools. And we sure as hell got like... 1100, 1200 something worth of tool, uh, worth of coins out of that. Not even counting the jagged fangs, which will help compensate. It's about 100 extra. It's something. Since we're not hostile with these guys yet, might as well sell them some stuff and see what they have. They have expensive things mostly. Really expensive, my god. Uh, anyone for hire here? That's really good. You've got a witch hunter. Oh. Got a hedge knight. Wow. Level 5. He comes with a bassinet and good armor. Done. Welcome to the team, Mr. Badass. Uh. You're not that great. But you've got eagle eyes and brute. Like, I really wanted you to be better at melee. Why couldn't you be better at melee? You disappoint me, son. Your resolve is... You're kind of a terrible hedge knight, if I'm sorry. If I'm allowed to say that. There we go. Roll some defenses on him. Let's get that resolve up to a decent degree. There we go. Oh, we've got another two-hander, though, now. 
Like, I'm probably gonna keep him as a two-hander. I might give him a flail. And build him to be, uh... What's that? What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. I kind of lost it there. I'm sorry. Uh, definitely Colossus. Is, you know, Hedge Knight. Decent aim. With Brute. 15% damage on the hit to the head, so you are definitely going for the uh, Headhunter perk. And I'll be giving you a Flail. And probably a Kite Shield. Although, that said, you'd be a heck of a lot better with a heater shield because you already have the range defense taken care of mainly yeah that's a lot better in fact I think end goal for Mr. Hubert over here will be that we get him one of those giant orc flails because why the heck not I've also got a bassinet and a worn mail shirt your armor is actually pretty terrible compared to our standard Although I say pretty terrible, it's passable. It's meh. Uh, we'll get you brawny. And we're gonna specialize you in flails. There you go, enjoy. You're gonna be able to murder fools now. That brute is gonna be super nice. We'll make it work. We're rich. Just deal with it. <laughs> uh, we can keep his great axe. I wow. That's a little bit better than the Woodman's Axe, I'll be honest. 80 to 100 damage. 150 against armor. Shield damage of 36. How would that compare against uh, Firefan's great, uh, great Sword here? You could round swing, there's 35 fatigue. Or a regular chop, 120 to 150. Ooh. Yeah, you do 105 to 130 damage. Why is that? Why is that? Not because of sword mastery. Uh, not because of anything, I can tell. I mean, I don't mind, don't get me wrong. I think it's the hidden bonus for just, you know, holding the weapon very steadily. Which you normally get with a sword. Double grip. That would explain it. I don't know. 85 to 110 damage, and then it's like, oh yeah, you can do 15 to 130, which means we can do 160 if he's running berserk. This is wrecking armor, though, admittedly. Might not be bad to keep around for when we're fighting orcs. The sword does a bit more damage, also way less fatigue. Rather, uh, I don't know. Wait, let's fatigue. No. Ignore me. I'm rambling now. This is what happens. I think we're going to end it there then. While, I, while I'm still sane. Thank you all for watching another episode. We got ourselves a Hedge Knight. They get extra melee attack. Me ranged attack. A bit of melee defense and stuff as well. They're supposed to have good resolve. But this one's kind of shit. We'll make him work though. Or die trying. I really want to thank you guys, by the way, for all the continued support for the series. Just all the likes and whatnot. I really appreciate it. It is so encouraging to see that you guys really enjoy the series. It's doing really well. Thank you all for that. Subscribe if you want to see more. And if you really enjoyed the series, you maybe want to help the channel out a little bit more. Perhaps consider supporting me over at patreon.com slash derpdigital. You could even get your name in a game like Firefan over here, who just turned into a badass berserker with unique awesome everything. Until next time, have a good one folks!